Faida number eight from the book Ma'arakatun Nas, Battle Over the Text by Sheikh Fahad Al Ajlan. So here he talks about the environment which is conducive for deviation, basically fertile soil for deviation and misguidance. Remember that nobody out there can say that I am totally safe. I can never fall into misguidance or deviation. Our Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he used to make dua. Ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Oh, the one who turns the hearts, make my heart firm upon the deen. If that was the case with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what about us? Similarly, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions that maybe a person will be a hand span away from paradise, but something will happen to him, something will get the better of him, and he will end up somewhere else. And so nobody is free from error. Nobody can be safe totally from any misguidance. That's why in our salah, we make dua in Surah Al-Fatiha, اِهْدِنَ الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ That guide us to the straight path, to the right path. But also remember, that there's a difference between somebody who uses the means to protect his faith and strengthen his iman. And somebody who doesn't do that, somebody who uh, opens his heart up to all types of doubts and pitfalls, that individual there, the chances of him slipping are very high. If you put yourself in the line of fire and you get shot, you shouldn't blame anyone but yourself. Now, when we talk about environment, conducive for deviation environment, we're talking about your friends, your family, uh, university, your school, the media, whatever you are watching, etc., whatever you are consuming, right? That's part and parcel of your environment. Now, there are certain qualities that if this quality is found in the environment, then it's very conducive for deviation and misguidance. Let's see, number one. An environment where certainty is frowned upon and skepticism is something which is highly regarded. So having yaqeen and being set and firm in your faith, ah, this is like ignorance. Whereas the person who's always doubting and questioning this and questioning that and always in a state of uh, shak and doubt, ah, this guy is smart, this guy is uh, uh, intellectually uh, advanced. Uh, and, and this person stands out from the crowd. This is a non-conformist. This is the person who is like cool in that environment. Mushkila. Second quality, that if you are in an environment where there's continuous attacks on the Sharia, preservation of the Noble Qur'an, collection of the Noble Qur'an, preservation of the Sunnah, authority of the Sunnah, uh, the, the lines between Iman and Kufr, the integrity of the Sahaba, the understanding of the Sahaba, etc. If these matters, morning, evening and night, you are exposed to attacks, on uh, these usul of the sharia, then this is an environment conducive, fertile soil for deviation. It weakens the faith of the individual. Number three, if the individual is prone to intellectual chaos, that he is uh, uh, dabbling in this fikr and that fikr and this philosophy and that philosophy, he doesn't have a proper methodology, he's very impressed by the West and the thinkers of the West, etc. So if you have these three qualities in an environment, don't be surprised when you have somebody coming along and then he's got doubts. He comes and he says, I have a crisis of faith. The person comes along and he and he doubts his Islam, etc. Don't be surprised because the environment had these qualities, he, he was conditioned for this type of result, unfortunately, right? And it's not that Islam does not have an intellectual response or it cannot resist it. No, Islam can. Islam can rise up to these challenges and face these challenges, but you are weak. Islam and the Muslim are different. You, O oh Muslim, you are weak. The other one who is prepared for battle intellectually, etc. He's prepared, mashallah. He has uh, his arguments. He knows exactly what he's talking about. He has uh, uh, a good credit of ibadah, etc. And tilawah of the noble Quran. Uh, all of this which is part and parcel of the protection. He has that. But you don't have that. Your heart has these dots on them. And so... You are the one who is exposed. You have been conditioned, you are weak, and you are not ready for this battle. You are the one who are weak, unfortunately.